For the rear door lock actuators, you would need some of these tools, a screwdriver or a drill with the Phillips head, a Torx T30 bit, and a prying tool. First, you would pry this panel out. There's that. There's a screw here. And then you pull the whole ashtray out. Once you have the ashtray out, then you pull up like this, remove the front, and then pull forward a little bit, kind of wiggle it a little bit, and then come out. So harness that needs to come off. Once that is, that is out, typically this light is also attached, usually in this hole right here. This is for the ashtray. Once that's out, there is a screw right there. There's a screw right there. One, two, right there. So, once you have the screws removed, all you do is pull the bottom of the door like so, and it re releases the clips. And just like the front door, you will lift up on the back piece right here first, and then pull the front towards the back. And then the whole thing should lift away. Same thing, two clips on this right here the white clip controls the actual handle port and this is for the locking mechanism and one harness the lower door lights my previous video I discussed that uh, do not fold these here as you can see this one's kind of folded so we're gonna try our best to straighten it out because this will actually affect the operations of your door lock so get this as straight as possible so now it's working smoothly Next, you would remove this plastic. There is a Torx T30 here, and these three Torx screws right here that you would need to remove. Next, remove this childproof lock cover. It just pulls off. Next, remove the harness. And for the rear door, um, let me see if I can focus it. See that tab up in the corner there? That is actually what the handle does when it opens door it presses on that so you reach in with your hand and press down on it and the whole lock mechanism should loose come right out Once that's out, there is a screw holding on to it right here. Pull the cover back. It's two screws, one right here, one right here. Once you remove this, there's a cable that's clipping it on. Or... Then you just reverse process with the new one. To install the new one, I find it a lot easier if you just remove this cable first. Line it up with the groove like this.
Twist the cable around. Like this. And pop the clip back in. Then on this side, you just line this up. There's only one that you need to line up right there, and that's it. So then, the next portion would be re reinstalling the screws. Cover back on. So once the screws are back on, you just reverse the process and install it. Once again, you would have to play some origami here and figure out how you're gonna slide this back in. Uh, you have the clip on the back to think about, so with the latch and the childproof lock. It's probably easier if you press down on the latch on the inside again to help it align in place. Make sure the childproof lock is also feeding through. Once it lines up, you line in the bolt holes and reattach everything. Once you have it in place and reinstall the screws, uh, the, the torque screws on the back, the torque screw right here, you plug in the harness, replace the childproof lock cap, and feed the cable through the cover, the plastic cover here. Cover it back up. So, and reinstall the door panel don't forget the harness really low the door light the door latch cables again the clear one goes on the bottom and the black one goes on top Then you will hook the front side of it and like so. Make sure the ashtray light and your window switch uh, control harness is out. Push the back side back in and just press the plastic pieces back in, the, the plastic clips. Once those are in, all you gotta do is just reinstall the screws. Here, 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 and two on the bottom. Once you're done with it, then you wanna test proper functioning of the door lock actuators. And you do this by making sure all the doors are closed all the way first, and then use your remote control. or you can use the door lock switch to do so.